Diet and nutrition are very important for patients with pancreatic cancer. Patients with pancreatic cancer are particularly at risk of impaired digestion and nutrition because of damage to the pancreas, which then leads to inadequate intake of calories, proteins, vitamins, and trace minerals, all of which are essential to maintain general health and also to help cope with and recover from cancer treatment and surgery. However, it's also important to remember that the pancreas and the nearby intestine or gut are really important for digestion and nutrition. Pancreatic cancer and often the surgical treatment lead to loss of pancreatic tissues, which then reduces the secretion of the pancreatic enzymes and the fluids, including bicarbonate, that are needed to help digest food and absorb it. And it can, if much of the pancreas is affected, also lead to conditions such as diabetes, which affects the endocrine part of the pancreatic function. In addition, as the cancer grows and spreads, it can also affect nearby organs, including the liver, the bile ducts, as well as the intestine itself. And all of these can then lead to weight loss and malnutrition. Well, as for everybody, it's important to have a healthy diet, but it's particularly important if there is a risk of pancreatic cancer to make sure that the diet is healthy and that we avoid some of the dietary risk factors that we talked about before. So a healthy diet before diagnosis will help reduce the risk of pancreatic cancer, but it will also ensure that the body is healthy and has good nutrition to deal with the pancreatic cancer when it's been diagnosed. And the things that we need to do for our diet are to reduce alcohol intake, to try and avoid overweight or metabolic syndrome, to reduce high fat diets and reduce the amount of saturated fats in the diet that are found in red meat, whole meal, whole milk dairy products, coconut oil, and many commercially prepared foods, and also to reduce the intake of processed foods and processed meats. The goals of nutrition treatment during cancer therapy are to ensure adequate intake of macronutrients, that is calories from carbohydrates and fats, as well as the building blocks that come with protein intake. In addition, it's important to ensure adequate intake of micronutrients, the so-called fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K, as well as minerals such as iron and zinc. Food should be appetizing to deal with the loss of appetite that comes with cancers, and the food should also be readily digestible. So small frequent meals and, if necessary, oral supplements or enteral nutritional supplements can be helpful. It's particularly important in patients with pancreatic cancer to replace the digestive enzymes that are lost when the pancreas is damaged. Pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy is generally given as what are called enteric-coated pancreatic enzymes. These are enzyme preparations that have a special coating that protects them against acid in the stomach. And these enzymes can therefore be released in the duodenum where the enzymes that they contain, the lipase to digest fat, the amylase to digest carbohydrates, and the proteases to digest proteins are released and mixed with the food to promote absorption and promote digestion. Pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy should be taken with every snack and meal, and it's generally recognized by many of the specialty groups, including the United Kingdom NICE guidelines group, for example, that pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy should be provided before and after pancreatic treatment and pancreatic surgery. Nutrition treatments remain really important even after the pancreatic cancer has been treated whether or not the treatment has been successful. And they're really important to aid recovery and to maintain health after the treatment has completed. The nutrition supplements that are needed after pancreatic cancer treatments include the pancreatic enzyme replacement therapy or PERT. These are the enteric coated 
capsules that contain digestive enzymes, and these should be taken with all food, regardless of whether it is a snack or a full meal. Generally, to start, we recommend that people take one to three capsules with a snack and three to five capsules with a meal. These capsules should be taken mixed with the food during the meal so that the enzymes are mixed with the food and have an opportunity to improve digestion and improve absorption. Good nutritional treatment after pancreatic therapy for cancer also includes ensuring adequate supply of macronutrients, that is carbohydrates, fats and proteins, if necessary with supplements, and above all helped by a registered dietitian who can provide specific advice regarding the types of foods and supplements that are needed. And so most patients who have had treatment for pancreatic cancer will need not just the macronutrients, but also the micronutrients, the vitamins and minerals that can become deficient after treatment for pancreatic cancer. These include fat-soluble vitamins, vitamin A, vitamin D, vitamin E, and vitamin K, as well as vitamin B12 that's important for nerve health and to help with blood production and prevent anemia. And in addition, vitamins and trace elements such as iron and zinc supplements. 